So, Scott, I mean, this is the thing. He called that uh, McCarthy could be called by, by this committee, right, is because he was on the phone with Trump on the day of the insurrection saying, this is serious. What are you doing? And Trump tries to say it's uh, Antifa or whatever he was saying. And McCarthy's like, these are your people. Call them off. Right. So McCarthy cared in the moment. He knew the importance in the moment. You know, since then, he finds things out like the generals were worried Trump was going to stage a coup. He's finding more and more of this out. But he 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 doesn't seem to he doesn't seem to care. Well, he has a couple of responsibilities. One is official. I think he should appoint members to the committee because I think Republic, it's an official action of the House. And we can yeah. say that it's partisan. And certainly the Democrats have good political reasons to keep this in the news. But it's an official action of the House. So they need to appoint members. Just like during the impeachment, uh, I think a lot of Republicans would look back and, and say the impeachment committee hearings would have gone much differently had Republicans not been there to cross-examine witnesses. So, number one, he really should appoint these members. Number two, yeah. as an official matter, he should certainly participate if he gets asked. As a political matter, his he wakes up every day asking, what do I have to do today to get back the majority and to become speaker? That's his dream. And let's be honest, Donald Trump holds the dream of Kevin McCarthy being the speaker in his hands. Because even if we do win a majority next year, if Donald Trump decides he doesn't like Kevin McCarthy anymore on that given day, he could crush those dreams by saying we need someone else. And so I would expect them to remain totally aligned. But I think as it relates to his official duties on this commission, we need Republicans on it. He needs to participate. I know he may not like it, but that's the facts. And, uh, and uh, I hope they appoint people who will take it seriously. Trump says, many say I am the greatest star maker of all time, but some of the stars I produce are actually made of garbage. I mean, forget what this says about his uh, his hiring. But this is this is how he sees some of them who've been loyal to him, right? You're just you're just garbage whenever something changes. Yeah, I mean, look, he's shown time and again that that he will turn on you in, in, a, in a moment of anger, uh, even if it's not in his best interest to turn on that particular person. I mean, we've seen that happen over the years. So, I, again, though, I think Kevin McCarthy is he's dealing in the moment every moment. And, and sort of playing whack-a-mole with all the problems that he has to deal with every day. But the constant problem, the mole that has to be, you know, whacked every day is yeah. I got to try to stay in the good graces of Donald Trump because I need him to like me. I need him to help us fundraise. I need him to not muck around in primaries where it wouldn't be helpful. You know, there's yeah. a number of things Trump could do to be helpful or hurtful. And, and so McCarthy, every single day, wakes up going down that checklist and doing what he can to try to keep, keep the whole thing on the, on the rails. And it's a high-wire act.